One of the key visual effects in the films are the portals, which open up to show Sylvia her past. And Dave Novis, who was our visual effects supervisor, produced these amazing portals. They started off as quite small little moments, and we kind of looked at them thinking, that's not very dramatic. So we gradually built these up into these beautiful, multi-layered, I think there were like 70 layers in these portals. So they, they look stunning and really set the scene of us going into this magical other world. We did some green screen work, which we did in the barn. So we did shots of Linda and Sean, the Lawson and Sylvia, looking at the portals. The wind plays a role in the film. There's a description of the wind, almost like chasing you and your dreams. And we wanted to represent that with the leaves blowing through various moments in the scenes. And we didn't deal with that on the day because we felt it would impinge on our shoot time with the, the actors. So we did work on a green screen as a pickup and we had to shoot leaves and we would blow them up the, the green screen. We'd have to do different angles for different perspectives, sometimes in front of a window, sometimes going up a path. And that was a lot of intricate work, but was then picked up later in the visual effects. There were a lot of visual effects in the film. I think it was about 110. And a lot of them, the audience would probably never see them because we had to do a lot of cleaning up. Because we had such a small crew, we didn't always notice things. And I remember one example of that was it, when I saw the, the material for the kitchen scene, I suddenly noticed a, a sif bottle on the side of the sink. And of course, that was completely out of the period. And obviously, somebody had used it for cleaning the sink. So the visual effects artist put a bottle over it and completely cleared that out. Another interesting one was the Lawson actually looks at his watch when he's looking up to the curtain twitcher's window. And it's very difficult to find a watch without a brand name on it. So basically what we did is find a watch with the smallest brand name on it we could. And Dave painted it out. So in, when you see it on the screen, you'll never notice. But again, that's a visual effect. There's a wisteria on the wall of the house and during the first shoot it was completely free of leaves but in November there were leaves all over it so they had to be painted out so there was a lot of work had to go into that in visual effects. One of the key visual effects in the film is the Christmas house. We go from the darkness outside with the Reaper and into this amazing Christmas house and what we did is we took a daylight photograph of the house, we cut out the windows, graded it to look day for night and Dave and Pratik put photographs behind it. We photographed Christmas lights, they put the stars in, the moon, the moving clouds. We even ran the scene from the party. We took a, a long shot of the party and actually put it behind one of the windows so you can actually see people moving in the window of the house. We also put leaves blowing up the uh, pathway. So it was a very multi-layered visual effect. I wanted the audience to feel warm, that they wanted to go inside that room and be in that party, and uh, a real contrast from the external darkness of, of Sylvia being challenged about her dream.